Hello, Matt here from Fit and Confident You. Welcome back to the Fit and Confident Universe today, aka Matt Kitchen. Hope you are safe and well. Today I'm going to be talking about when we start doing good things for ourselves, how it makes some other people uncomfortable. Have you ever experienced this? Let me know in the comments. I would love to hear. Well, not love. I hope you haven't. But I suspect lots of people have. Um, so I want to reassure you that you're not alone, and it actually, unfortunately, is surprisingly common. Before we get to that, first of all, well done. Good for you for choosing to do something lovely and good and future-proofy for yourself. That's a word. Um, the more you invest in yourself, the better. It's not, it's not selfish. It's crucial. As I always say, a rising tide lifts all boats. Don't diminish your amazingness, your energy, your light. Let it shine. Let it guide the way for other people. Be a lighthouse for the person who needs it. Now, that niceness aside, so the reason I'm talking about this today is because a client told me how he had been staying with family members and over the last year, he's really got into his fitness, completely changed his life. Yes, working with Fit and Confident You, but it, even beyond that, it's not just to talk about how good he's been on my program, it's been how he's taken the ball and just run with it. Completely changed his life, inside and out, changed how he approaches work, how he feels about himself, his relationship with his partner, everything. He's been staying with family members and they've been leaving out, get this, articles saying why doing exercise is bad for you. Also saying he looks wrong or funny or not right. I mean, it's just crazy. That level of, well, the level of what they're doing. The reason people get uncomfortable, the first reason, is because you're holding a mirror up to them. And it makes them uncomfortable because they start to realise they look at their own life, consciously or subconsciously, and go, well, I'm not doing what he's doing. And so there's that crabs in a bucket mentality, which is, sounds really sad and unfortunate, but it does come into play with humans sometimes. If you haven't heard it, put a load of crabs in a bucket. One tries to escape, all the others pull it back. Why? I don't know. Not a crab expert. This is a thing though. And it just, even if it isn't, it would be a good example. Humans are doing that to each other and it's really sad. Um, but yeah, you're making them uncomfortable because they're not investing in themselves, in their future and how they feel. They realise maybe they could be doing more if they wanted, but they're not. And there's no shame or judgement for them either. But when they're mean or mean-spirited or unsupportive back to family members, friends, colleagues, and I've heard it from all sorts of different walks of life, it's just really sad because they're not realising that together we all grow, we all lift, we all rise together. And then the other reason, the biggie, comes down to the fear of change. They see the person they knew, they had they sort of, they knew that other person, they could put, put him in a box, they knew what he was about, where, what he thought, how he acted, all of that. This new person, it's different. He's acting differently, he's changing. And that fear is, if he changes and I don't change, will I get left behind? Will he move on? Will he leave me? So it's essentially a massive evolutionary throwback about the fear of change. And hey, don't get me wrong, millions of years ago, fear of change was good. It kept you safe from saber-toothed tigers and mammoths and things like that. Don't quote me. <laughs> I'm also not a caveman expert, but um, what, what kept us safe before traps us in many cases now. So you don't need to be scared of change. You don't need to be fearful of people around you doing good things for themselves. It lifts and inspires all of us. It raises all of us to be better, to feel better. So if you have experienced it, I'm really sorry because it's just as you're like, you're enjoying your new fitness plan and you're feeling good and you're making time for your workouts. And then some Debbie Downer comes along and He's on your parade. Don't let them know in here what you're doing is brilliant for you, for the world, for your partner, for work, for everything. It's not, it's not selfish, it's crucial. Keep doing you. Keep finding time when you can to do a bit of good stuff for you. And that could be five squats at home. That would be marvellous. And maybe a five minute walk. Amazing. Good for you. Keep on with that. Build it into your life. Make it a routine. Make it become a fitter, confident you bit by bit by bit. And it gets easier to ignore the naysayers and just keep on with your path. There we go. You have a fit and confident week. Thanks for watching. Oh, why don't you subscribe? I know I meant to say that right at the start and I always forget. Why don't you just click subscribe now for more of this entertaining content? <laughs> Thank you, team.